Welcome to the Box User Series. In this video, you'll learn all the basics for creating and editing in Box. Let's jump into a Box account and get started. When I want to upload files I've already made into my Box account, I can click here. Or I can use drag and drop. When I want to start something new, click here. Now, any changes I make to this file will save automatically back up to my Box account. I want to work on a file at the same time as my teammates, so today I'll use Microsoft Office Online. Office Online allows me to simultaneously edit Microsoft files in a browser with other collaborators and see our edits happening in real time. Changes save automatically, so I don't need to worry about losing progress. I'm working with a client who prefers to use Google Docs for budget tracking. No problem. I can use the Box for G Suite integration to collaborate easily and securely. Just like with Microsoft Office Online, I can edit in real time with my collaborators and trust that Box will automatically save all our changes. Box lets me preview Google Docs just like any other files in Box. To make more changes, just click Open. Sometimes I need to work on my files alone. For times like these, I'll use Box Edit. Box Edit allows me to edit any file so I can edit on my own computer. I'll lock my file first to prevent others from making changes at the same time. Once you've made your changes, click Save and close. And just like the other editing options, Box will save those changes back to Box. No matter what editing tool I use, Box manages your version history. As soon as you create or upload something into your account, you can access your full version history. The most recent version will always be at the top of the stack. You can toggle back and forth between versions to see who made what changes and when, and even revert to old versions. Now everything about your file is tracked, stored and accessible to you. Now that you've learned the basics for creating and editing in Box, it's time to dive into your own account and start exploring. Ready to learn more? Visit the rest of the user video series.